Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Rashmi Roy at the Clayman Thyroid Center here at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery. So today I want to talk to you about another goiter on today's edition of Reuters Goiters. Uh, so we have a patient that was 51 years old and she lived in Mobile, Alabama. She had her goiter since 2015 and she was monitoring it with ultrasounds. So she, when she first found her goiter back in 2015, she really didn't have much symptoms, but then through the years that her symptoms progressed. At first, she started to have constant clearing of her throat. Then it progressed to the fact that she couldn't really swallow well without having to really force herself to swallow. First, it started with pills. Then it really moved on to food like eating a burger or eating dry bread. Um, and then eventually her symptoms really progressed to the point where she couldn't really walk without getting short of breath. She needed a CPAP machine at night. She couldn't lay flat. Everything was compressing against her trachea and her windpipe. Um, so then she finally knew that she had to go and find a surgeon. So when she did this, the first surgeon that she saw told her that her thyroid was too big and that they, there was no way they were gonna be able to get it out of her neck and they needed to crack her chest open. She, this completely freaked her out and she didn't wanna see the surgeon. So then she waited another six months and she went and saw another surgeon and then another surgeon. And so throughout this whole period, since 2015, when she was looking for surgeons, everyone told her that they needed to crack her chest. She went to four different surgeons. Um, then she came across us online and she filled out a form and I called her and I talked to her about her symptoms and I reviewed all of her imaging and I told her that she did not need to worry about that, that I'd be able to remove her thyroid through an incision above her collarbone and would not need to crack her chest open at all. So she came in to see me um, and then when I saw her and I examined her neck, of course she had a large thyroid goiter, it was extending into her chest, I couldn't feel everything. Um, and she told me about all of her symptoms and really how her life was significantly affected from her goiter. Um, so we did some imaging, let me show you how big this is. So if you see here, so this is her big mass so this is the top of her thyroid gland so this is really at the level of her ears so this mass in the left side of her neck is extending from below her jawbone and occupying her whole entire neck and it's going down into your into her chest so here's the lungs this is extending into her chest so if we follow this down we see how big it is and even the other side of her thyroid is enlarged so if you just think about that, think about a, this large mass that's occupying the whole entire left side of your neck. Um, so it's pretty significant. So we took her to the operating room. I removed her thyroid with just a neck incision like I told her, it took me about an hour. She stayed overnight um, and then she was discharged the next day and she felt dramatically better. Um, she was super appreciative. All of her symptoms were relieved really by the next day. And I actually just talked to her a little while ago and she feels tremendously better. Um, so let me show you how big this was in the operating room. So this was her whole um, thyroid gland. So this was that huge mass occupying the whole left side of her neck. Again, this is even an enlarged gland here. A normal right-sided thyroid should only be about this big. So you can see how big this was. Um, so what I want you guys to take from today's edition is that you need to do your research and you need to find the surgeon that is going to be able to perform your surgery for you with the least complications. Um, so how do you do that? So you need to find an expert surgeon by doing your own research and ask questions. Find out if your surgeon is board certified then you wanna ask them what component of their practice is thyroid surgery. For us, we only do thyroid surgery. It is 100% of our practice. The next thing you wanna ask is how many thyroid surgeries do they perform in a year? I personally perform 500 thyroid surgeries a year and the Clayman Thyroid Center performs over 1,200 thyroid surgeries a year. The next thing you wanna ask is what's their complication rate and how do they identify and protect the nerves to the voice box? And the very last thing is do your homework. Check Google reviews. Do what this patient did. Do your research. Don't just say yes to any surgeon that gives them your surgical plan. Do your research. Find a surgeon and you can contact us at thyroidcancer.com. And if you want to see more of the goiters that I remove, you can find me on YouTube at Reuters Goiters.